You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. The second episode of The Penguin is up. Okay, and it is called, the name of the episode is called The Inside Man. Inside Guy, Inside Man. And uh, I saw it last night. Mm -hmm. Very well done. You know, I had a little argument with someone. It wasn't even an argument with somebody on, on Twitter. It was just like someone had said, oh, you, you know, Sophia Falcone is really going to be the great villain to, to the Penguin. And I'm like, they're all villains. <laughs> like they're, they're, no one's a good guy in this, yeah. which is great, which is fantastic. But Colin Farrell, the penguin, is not a good guy. The brilliant, the what, what I'm seeing so far in these two episodes, and what, what makes it so brilliant is that we we the writing makes us care for him. He's got a he's got a backstory that you're like, oh, I can connect, I can relate to some certain things. I can't relate to shooting somebody, to murdering somebody. I can't relate to to telling a to you know giving a life lesson to your to the kid that you're trying to mentor by making him lay down in a uh in a, in an open grave that's not a good guy mm. but it's great but it's great entertainment and it is a fantastic second episode uh which brought in 1.8 million viewers just that sunday night like the first night fletcher that's crazy. That's, those are pretty good numbers because those are, you know, U.S. numbers, you know, and uh, pay subscriptions and stuff like that. So. Right. So let's read a little bit. Per Warner Brothers Discovery, 17% increase from the season premiere. 17%. Episode two brought the series to its regular Sunday night time slot. So it was like actually that a different time slot because that that. First night was Thursday, oh, okay. right? They did it. They did it kind of differently. So we had to wait like a week and a half almost. Oh. Episode one, Warner Brothers notes hit 10.4 million viewers after 11 days taking the Penguin above all current HBO series, except for House of Dragons and Last of Us. I mean, that's pretty good company to be third place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're talking about award-winning series. Uh, at the very least, right? Uh, nominated. Or, award-winning whether you like it or not so um the penguin uh is here and now you know what's what's what i had put on for the for the title when we were taught when i you know put it up on on our title i said penguin fever because yeah. all of a sudden people are talking about the show right. two weeks ago nobody was talking about this show right Nobody was talking about this show. Nobody even knew it was like happening. I think people were wondering, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Well, we had said like, oh, people, people a couple months ago, like the, uh, they liked the, uh, the trailer. And then, yeah, that was it. Right. After that, yeah. And this came up, you know, the promotion can, it kind of came up out of nowhere, but you know, the word of mouth is on fire with this show. And, I will do we'll, we'll do a couple little non spoilers here, and I will just say that Inside Man continues Oswald's um, tightrope walk between the mafia families, yeah. and you're you're literally like, how he's going to get out of this? How is he going to get out of this? Out of that situation? Out of this situation? Bravo! Uh, and 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 I think. I think this was the first time in the series someone actually called him Penguin. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that. So, um, of course, uh, Kristen Mil Miliotti is uh, her role expands in episode two oh. uh, to a degree where you are, you're like, yeah, uh, I think she still belongs in Arkham. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? So I you're questioning the doctors out. letting her out. Well, yeah, you know what's interesting, and again, this is there's no good people in this show, but I say that with love. <laughs> she 
she's a female serial killer. Right. And 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 we don't know yet, but Oz is involved somehow with her being sent off to 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 Arkham, but we don't know the particulars yet. Right. Okay. But I can tell you, two episodes in, me and Romy are locked in, one hundred percent. Have you gotten a chance to see episode one? No, no, I haven't had the chance yet. Um, I do, you know, it's funny because I did have some friends talking about it. So it's like, you kind of already hear like, you know, back and forth between them and stuff like that. But um, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it is passionate. So it's always good when you have people passionate about the show because it, it says it, you know, if nobody talks about it, you're always kind of like, oh, oh, well. But when you're passionate about it, like arguing little things, you thought, oh, there's there's something here. Well, okay, now now let's give you the the Latino slant. Boom, boom. This Randy. is a Renzi Feliz. I believe that. You, you can find me the last name of it. Renzi Feliz, I believe, his last name. This actor who plays Victor uh, Aguilar, the 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 mentee, the the would be psycho <laughs> sociopath killer. <laughs> He's like a Dominican kid. Okay. And well, he is not. I mean, he speaks Spanish in this, and so there's more actually more Spanish spoken. Rinzi Feliz. Rinzi Feliz. How Rinzi. do you say it? Uh, it's R H E N Z Y. Right. But Rinzi. how do you. Renzi. Renzi. That's like really Dominican, right? Very Dominican. Okay. So this actor, fantastic role. This is a, this is a breakout role, and we get more of his backstory. And even there's some interaction as far as some Spanish speaking with other, with the landlord of the mother, where we see that uh, Penguin's mom is, has dementia. And so he's, he's paying off the landlord to watch her. But even the landlord in Spanish, it's like, dude, this, your mom's too much. I can't, I can't. It's like, well, this is what I'm paying you for. But it's all in kind of in Spanish. Penguin totally understands the Spanish. Like and that kind of makes sense. Remember from from the Batman, he was the only one that that. that like, what am I? The only one that knows that knows Spanish here. So, so you're seeing all these. You're seeing the world of uh, of uh, of Gotham uh, branch out and organically with with this young kid's story, which I really like. And I think we're gonna see a relative show up soon because he comes from a part of the neighborhood in gotham that was washed out with the ending of the batman a lot of people were missing a lot of like there's all these missing signs a lot of people are dead and he hasn't said yes or no if his people are are gone yet so that's a little bit of a mystery and that's going to come out um i'm having a lot of fun with this show i I don't want to spoil it anymore i can just tell you that uh the numbers are great as far as viewership and once again, we, you know, HBO does it right.